Hi friends, welcome to Florence Programming. In this video, I am going to explain you about different functionalities of data mining system. So data mining system is a tool which provide lot of functionality to mine our data in the data warehouse. In my previous video, I have given what is data mining and what are different data can be mined in data mining systems. So here I am going to explain you different functionalities of data mining systems. I have listed six main functionalities of data mining systems that is concept class description, mining frequent patterns, classification and prediction, cluster analysis, outlier analysis and evolution analysis. These are the six main functionalities we can perform on data mining system. Let me see one by one. The first functionality is concept class description. That is the concept or class description of data object in the data warehouse will lead to uncover characterization and discrimination of the data in the data warehouse. So here, uh, if you take a, a student management data warehouse, so here the student register number is one attribute. That is nothing but the class here. So every attribute has its own characteristics and own descriptions. So how we are using the class concept and the class description for our mining purpose. This is the first one. So these class concept and these descriptions will help us to get characterize the data as well as discriminate the data. So characterization of data object is nothing but we can summarize the data in the data virus. Suppose I want to find uh, how many uh, uh, sales details I want to find. So for a month, what is the total sales for a particular product? So here I am applying summarization operations. That is roll up, OLAP operations, roll up operations we will perform. So the, we are summarizing the class descriptions. So the class descriptions help us to find the characterization of particular data object. Then discrimination. Discrimination is nothing but we can perform certain comparison studies on data object. Suppose for a particular product, the sales rate is 10 percentage increase. Now I want to compare between products. How many products sales rate has been increased and how many has been decreased. So that comparison can be performed using the class concept or class descript uh, descriptions. So the first functionality here, we are finding the characterization and discrimination of data object. Next, how will you represent the result to the end user? So the result we can represent either by pie chart or bar chart or curves, which will be easily easy to understand by the end users. So the next functionality of data mining is mining frequent patterns, associations and correlations. So mining frequent patterns means some patterns or some model in the data warehouse will be frequently accessed or frequently mined by different users. Such pattern will help us to find different associations and different correlations. So that is the second functionality of data mining. So one example I can give here, mining frequent pattern. Suppose I am searching some information in the Google search engine. So when I search, it will list some set of results. Along with that, you can see related search or you may also search like that. So this is frequent pattern. So along with our result, we are getting another set of information which will be frequently searched by other users. So the mining frequent pattern will help to collect 
associations and it will helps to correlate different attributes in a data warehouse so the mining frequent pattern will provide or will help us to uncover different associations and different correlations in the data warehouse so here we can use uh, the mining frequent pattern we can uh, represent our result to the end user through some association rules or through decision trees using that we can represent the results so the main uh, purpose or main use of mining frequent pattern is we can get different association among attributes in the data warehouse suppose uh, if you are taking online sales the customers people will buy computer the people will also buy printer or they also buy scanner so these are all some association among attributes so how we are getting these associations so through the uh, frequent pattern how many customers they are frequently purchased these set of items for their uh, shopping so from that uh, shopping uh, data we are getting this frequent pattern so through that frequent pattern we are uh, creating the associations also we are creating the correlations among the data so uh, so this is the uh, mining frequent pattern and associations and correlations and the third functionality of data mining is classification and predictions this is a very very important and mostly used functionality in data mining wherever if you are seeing any research people will use the classification and predictions so the classification will help us to predict some new pattern or some new model so here classification means the data object in the data warehouse will be classified based that classifications will help to predict or apply for unknown class labels so classification will lead for predictions suppose you have some set of images crop images so the crop images i can classify the crop images based on some patterns or based on some rules so once i classify all the crop images and i can predict from the classifications suppose the crop tomato uh, image i have and another crop image uh, brinjal images so i can apply some rule to classify the images so once i classify i can apply that images for my predictions so classifications will lead us for prediction so these classification will predict categorical labels so the classifications also we can apply for numerical classification and categorical classifications but once we use the classifications with unknown label we can apply this for categorical based predictions next how will you uh, represent the result of the classifications again we can use some set of um, uh, methods visualization that is we can use if then rules decision trees mathematical formula or neural networks suppose we have uh, some set of data here i am classifying the data as class a class b class z for this classification i have taken the uh, attribute is age and income attributes so if age is belongs to youth as well as income is high i can classify such data as class a and uh, age is youth and income is low i can classify b then age is middle age i can classify c then age is senior i can classify as c so three classes class a class b class a now i can predict here how many customers are eligible to apply for loan or eligible to avail loan so these classification help as for predictions so the classification result we can give using if then rules and another one we can represent the classification result using decision tree like this or we can use neural network models so neural network model here 
you can use input input model input layer and this is output layer inside we have hidden layers here we can apply all our rules and we can predict these so these are some of the representations we can represent the classification result to the users and the next functionality we can see is cluster analysis so classification and cluster both are very similar but cluster analysis will be used we, we are applying on data object without consulting the known class label that is the difference between clustering and classification classifications we will apply on known class label but here we we are not using the known class label so just we are not consulting a known class label so clustering just we can grouping the data from the groups we can predict the uh, predict our results or we can apply the clustering for predictions so here in cluster analysis we are using two main principles the one is our cluster should maximize the intra class similarity and minimize the inter class similarity that is the data objects in the clusters should uh, follow these two principles that is maximizing the intra class similarity that is let us consider if you have three clusters so the data object in each clusters dimensions will must will have the maximum value but inside the cluster the data object will have the minimum similarities that is the similarity should be many so all the data object in the clusters are close to each other but between cluster is it has more distance so this is cluster analysis and the next functionality in data mining is outlier analysis so outlier analysis means see we are maintaining some set of data here some data will be some abnormal some exceptional data but that data also we can use for our analysis purpose that is nothing but outlier analysis the data will not fall into the regular behavior it will behave something different so such data can be used for our analysis purpose some example fraudulent uh, uh, deduction we can use such data see credit card fraudulent fraudulent we can use or network intruders if you want to find see network analysis you are using we are having set of ip addresses so we know the ip address will have the certain format here certain classes but in some time we are getting yes, some new ip address into our network so that is nothing but outlier this is exception that ip address we can suspect that it may be intruder so outlier analysis can be used for some abnormal data analysis or for like that fraudulent analysis or some uh, detecting the purchase of extremely large amount of given number so that we can use the credit card has been used by some other persons so this is something exception and something different from our regular activities so this is outlayer analysis and the next functionality is evolution analysis evolution analysis means we have a long period data so that data can be applied for analysis and for prediction of next long term uh, period or next uh, long period analysis the, that is evolution analysis so suppose we have last 10 years weather data so using that last 10 year weather data how the next year or next two years how the weather will be so these evolution analysis can also used by data mining so these are some of the uh, mainly used data mining functionality for our research purpose so most of researchers they are using these six functionality of data mining for their uh, research for classification for clustering and for predictions they are using hope you understood the different functionality of data mining system thank you